Hi everybody, Luis Perez here with a quick tutorial focusing on the Workflow app. As the name implies, Workflow allows you to create workflows. A workflow is a series of actions, uh, sometimes from different apps, and when you change these actions together, you can save quite a bit of time through automation. So let's take a look at how we can create a basic workflow where we're going to uh, tap an icon on the home screen it's going to open the messages app and then it's going to create a new message that's already filled in with some text and it's already addressed to the appropriate recipient. To get started, tap the uh, icon for the workflow app to open it. Then on the right side of the screen, tap the plus or add button. For this uh, tutorial, we're going to focus on the normal workflow type, so make sure that's selected. And then on the left side of the screen, you're going to see a list of all the different actions you can choose from. And we're going to use two, the text action and the send message action. Um, if you don't see the action right away, you can just do a search for it. So first, let's look for the text one. There it is. We'll go ahead and drag that over to the right side of the screen. So that's the first action in our workflow. Let's enter the text that's going to be uh, used to uh, fill the message body. All right, now we have that action ready to go. We'll go ahead and add our second action, which is to send a message. So again, I'll do a search. There is the send message action. I'll add that underneath the text one. You can use drag and drop to change the order of these actions but I know that I want to have them in this order with the send message action being the last one. Okay, the next thing is um, to add a recipient. You can either type it in or you can tap the plus uh, on the right side of that action and then choose somebody from your contacts list. That's what I'll do now. Once you have the recipient filled in, that's it. You're basically ready to go. The next step is to add this as a home screen icon. Go ahead and tap the gear icon for settings. Under name, go ahead and give this workflow a descriptive name so you know what it refers to. And then tap on add to home screen. Here you can choose different colors for the home screen icon. You can also add a glyph or a symbol. And then when I'm ready, I'll tap done. And then uh, Safari is going to open up. It's going to have some directions for the last step we need to perform to add this as a home screen icon. Just follow the directions, which uh, indicate that you should tap the share option and then choose add to home screen from the actions listed there. And then add. All right, here is our new workflow added as a home screen icon. Let's go ahead and test it out. I'll just tap the icon. There it is. We've created a, a new message. It has the message body all filled in. It's already addressed to the correct person. Uh, all we need to do is tap send and this message will be on its way. So this is just one example of how workflow can save you time and effort uh, by performing several actions for you. Uh, and uh, this is just a very basic example, but there's a lot more you can do with workflow. Really, your creativity is the limit.